Hello everybody and welcome to the School of Alivism. Today we want to share with you this special bonus episode because today is the first day of the Muharram fast for Alevis. Now, on the 10th of October 680 AD, according to the Gregorian calendar, and on the 10th of Muharram 61, according to the Hijri calendar, Saint Ali's son, Hussein, was murdered by the tyrant Yezid in the region of Karbala in Iraq. This fast is often referred to as Muharram, but it's also known as Matam Oruja, which means the fast of mourning. So Alevis have since been mourning these events, which occurred hundreds of years ago, by fasting for 16 days. Three days are spent fasting for all oppressed children, which we call Masum Paklad. One day is spent fasting for all oppressed women, symbolized by Fatmana. And the remaining 12 days are spent fasting and mourning for all oppression against people around the world. It's important to note that anyone can fast for as many days that they feel comfortable with. Some people may choose to fast the three days for the children. There is no reward or punishment at the end of this, whether you fast for three days or for 16 days. For the Alevi community, Karbala is not just a geographical place and Hussein and Yezid are not just individuals. All of these names and events symbolize a common struggle. That is the struggle between tyrants and their victims. Ultimately, Karbala represents the struggle between good and evil. It's the name given to all massacres, genocides and crimes against humanity. Karbala was Anatolia during Yawa Sultan Selim's and the second Mahmud's reign as Ottoman tyrants. Karbala was Kochgide, Darsim, Marash, Chorum, Sivas, Gazi. Karbala was Gezi, Diyarbakir, Jizre, Suruç and Ankara. Karbala is today's Iraq, Syria. It's the Mediterranean Sea where hundreds of thousands have drowned in an attempt to find refuge and survive, to offer a better life for their children. Karbala is wherever tyranny and injustices exist. It's the space where the oppressed stand against the tyrant. This year, we will mourn with all Karbala's in mind. Although the fast is limited to 16 days, our mourning and commemoration should not. Muharram is not just a duty we feel obliged to carry out, it's a remembrance for us that even though our lives are well, there are those who have not been so lucky. Each year is a chance to give something back to the community we live in. It's a chance to play a more vital role in our own individual worlds and in the face of adversity and oppression to stand up for those that need it without any judgment. Ashure is a soup which is cooked after the last fast is complete. For Alevis, it's a way of giving something back to the people in our communities, especially for the last fast the Alevi community gather together in their local gym houses, community centres and each other's houses and contribute with ingredients for the soup. Everyone brings what they can afford and they take only what they need. The soup itself is made up of 12 ingredients. It's made in a way that when combined, all individual tastes and colours disappears and the soup forms one colour from many colours and one taste from many tastes. As you may have picked up from our previous episodes, symbolic oneness can be found in many Alevi traditions and rituals. And this oneness is the cornerstone of our philosophy. From Hussein to Pir Sultan, from Pir Sultan to Nesimi, from Nesimi to Sayyid Reza, Sayyid Reza to Hasid Gultikin, and from the past to our current day, the Alevi Kazilbash have stayed true to an honourable path. This is the path of the Alevi Kazilbash. Mm -hmm.